guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am with Sanja. So asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying to keep you along. But y'all know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. The golden nugget is take the expectations off of others. Take the expectations off of others. What am I talking about? Who are the others? The others of those who are not, you know, aligned and connected. Take those expectations off of people who are not aligned and connected. You know, when you're aligned and connected, you synced up with source. Remember I talked about not being God-like but being God? The two shall become one, you and God, okay, one. God comes to the forefront, then he moves in and through you, right? Which means that every move you make and every move you take, what have you, there's going to be peace, joy, love, and happiness, whether you're going forward, up, to the left, to the right, going down, however, wherever, whenever you move, it's going to be peaceful, joy, love, all good, good, right? And so when you sync up with somebody else who is aligning, truly aligning, connected, then you have the same thing. Or you can do it like this. If you go up, they go up. Same direction. No tension, all love, joy, peace, happiness. Wherever you move, however you move, wherever, whenever, it's all peaceful, right? It's all peaceful. It's all joy. There is no type of discord at all. In other words, you can be synced up with the person who's aligned and connected or however ever many people, and you may say something. You may say something, and it may come out one way, but you know what you what you were meaning when you said it. And guess what? Those who are synced up, aligned and connected, they heard what came out your mouth but guess what they were able to hear with their spiritual ears what you really meant thus they got the message and there was no colliding of them going like this saying no I heard what you said da, 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 and this is what you meant so I'm going to view you at that point no that person who's aligned and connected they will see you clearly they will hear you clearly they will feel you clearly in other words your actions that you make towards them they is clarity in it as far as they know that it's coming out of love you get what I'm saying so it's easy and it's great to have expectations of those who are aligned and connected. Why? Because you're moving in the same direction. There is no tension. There is no discord. It's easy for that. What I'm talking about, taking the expectations off of those who are not aligned and connected. And y'all, it took me a minute for Source to say, girl, girl, go girl. Take those expectations off of them. They're not aligned and connected to me. So you, and then I was like, huh? But I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to show love. And so I was like, yeah, show them love. But y'all in the midst of me showing love, I was expecting love back. I was expecting getting peace back when I showed peace. I was expecting them being happy for me because I was being happy for them. I was expecting a whole lot of things from a whole lot of people who were not aligned and connected. And so I said to let me know, girl, guess what? When they are not aligned and connected to me, that means they are not getting peace. They are not receiving love. They are not receiving happiness. Thus, when you are expecting it from them, they can't give it to you. They can't. Y'all, I found myself, and maybe this is for you guys. I found myself basically at tug of war with certain individuals because I would give love and I was like, okay, come on, give it back. Come on, get, give it back. And they were pulling against me and I was like, no, give me love back. Uh, give me happiness back. Be happy for me like I'm happy for you. Think positive for me like I'm being thinking positive for you. And Source said to say, drop that rope. Drop the rope, girl. Get out the tug of war game. Drop the rope. And I had to drop the rope. What did the rope symbolize? Expectations. The rope symbolized expectation. I was going back and forth. I'm giving love and then they wouldn't give it. So I was pulling them over to me and saying, you're going to give me this love. You're going to give me this peace. You're going to think positive of me. You're going to see the who, who I really am. You're going to see who I am in God. You, you don't see who I am in God. Come on over here so you can see who I am. And God had to tell me to drop that rope. Drop that rope of expectations. Because no matter how much you pull, try to pull them over to see you clearly, to see clarity through who you are, in God, because you are God, they won't be able to see it. They just won't. Why? Because they're not plugged in. They're not plugged in for clarity. No matter what you say and how you say it, they're not going to hear clarity when you speak. They're not going to see clarity when you move in action. They're not going to feel clarity when you issue love to them. They're not going to feel. They're going to think something's up. Oh, there's no way. There's something up to this love. They're not going to feel that clarity. They're, they're, your actions of your good deeds, it's going to be in vain on their end. Not on your end, on their end. 
And that's what happens. That's why I'm telling you guys, you got to take the expectations off of others, those others who are not aligned and connected. I'm telling you, that's what I had to learn. I had to learn. I didn't have to learn the hard way, but I sure grew a whole lot. I grew a lot. You hear what I'm saying? Because I was constantly in tug of war trying to pull people over to see clarity through the eyes of God of how to see me. You understand? And God is saying, girl, you better drop that rope of expectations because you won't be able to get it from them. Why? Because they're not plugged into me to receive love so they can't give it. They can't give what they don't have. Some of y'all are uh, dealing with family members and friends and co-workers when you're being so nice to them, you thinking positive about them, you're not thinking negative about them, you don't talk about them, you're not gossiping about them, you're just thinking the best. And what are they doing in return? Right? At some point it made you feel a certain way, right? Well, I'm telling you, the reason why you feel in a certain way is because you had those expectations on them, on them. And I'm here to tell you, they can't give you what you're expecting. They won't be able to give it to you until they are actually aligned and connected. And I told y'all what that means. That means you have become one with source, one with God. And now God is at the forefront. And they are not God like there are gods, which means they are able to give you exactly what you're asking. They're able to show you that love. God is able to move in and through them. But until that happens, you got to take the expectations off because they're not going to be able to give you that love. They're not going to be able to give you that in return of happiness. They're not going to be able to cheer you on to getting that manifestation. They're not going to be happy for you when you receive that nice car, when you receive a healing. They're not going to be all cheerful and, and joyful. Matter of fact, what happens, let me tell you all this, what Source had to tell me, is that when you are aligned and connected and you are really in there with Source, and you are showing love and happiness. The other party who is not aligned and connected, they can see all that happiness, all that love and all that peace. They see all of that. And when they see you, it's not that they don't like you. Don't get me wrong, they like you. They really do. Those people, whether they family members or friends, they really like you, they really like you. It's what they don't like about you is that you have figured it out. That you know how to really be in true, genuine peace, smiles and all that good, good. So when they see you, they get all frustrated. So they have to give you the opposite of what, what you're getting because what they're really telling you, don't show me love because it makes them feel uncomfortable because they can't give it back. Have you ever been around a person and you always paying and you always paying for this? Not that you're expecting them to pay you anything back from it, but you always paying. At a point, the other people be like, I'm tired of you paying for my food. I can pay for my own food. I know we go out, but I'm not talking about, you know, you've been on a date or your husband. Your husband's supposed to take care of you. He's supposed to do good goods for you. I'm talking about when you're out with friends, you know, you may pay for this, pay for that, pay for this, pay for this. And then at a point, a person may feel like you're giving me so much, it makes them feel a little small because what? They start saying, well, I can't give that. I I'm not able to give that. So they start to resent you for what you are able to give. So every time they're around you, they feel a certain way. So the more you're giving love, then they get upset and they have to give you something else. Say, you know I can't give you love back, so stop giving love to me. So they have to give you the opposite of love. They have to give you the opposite of what you're giving because that's what they know how to give. And that's why you're clashing because they're giving you hatred and giving you shade and giving you negativity. And you're going, what? You're dodging all this stuff. You're going, what? what is this? What's going on? But that's what they know how to give. That's, that's all that they can give right now. And that's what, that's what makes them thrive. Now, when they plug, actually plug in and get a line of connected, oh, it's going to be something so beautiful. Trust me, it will. It'll be something so beautiful. Why? Because now they feel comfortable. Oh, I feel so good. They give me love. Now I can give love back. And that's what happens. Because I'm telling you, they really do like you. Your co-worker really do like you. It's just that they don't know how to give that love back, so it's frustrating them. It's getting them at a point where it's getting them upset every time you come around with that smile on their face. Because they're trying to figure out how to keep their smile. They've been having a false pretense of a smile for so long to where you sure you you just came around and showed them what a genuine smile looks like, and they realize this false pretense of a smile isn't a smile. I want that smile that they have, but because they haven't plugged in. It's making them upset. And that's why they're treating you the way they do. And that's why I'm telling you to take the expectations off of them. And when you do that, 
you won't have a discord. You won't feel a certain way. You won't feel like they're trying to treat you a certain way. You, it, matter of fact, y'all, when they come at you at a certain place, okay, with them being not connected, you're going to still be at peace. Even when they're in your presence, you're going to be at peace. Even if they try to throw shade, you're going to be at peace. Because now you're able to know. You, you're, you are aware. I don't need that from you. Matter of fact, I don't want anything from you right now because you can't give it to me. You can't give me what I want right now, so I'm not expecting any love back from you. <laughs> I'm not expecting any peace back from you. I'm not, I'm not even expecting an apology from you. I'm not expecting any kindness from you. I'm not expecting you to cheer me on. I'm not expecting you to be happy for me. Why? Because I know you cannot give it to me. You can't give it to me. Why? Because you're not aligned and connected. And I'm okay with that. That's how you that's how you have to that's how you have to go about it. You have to be okay with it. Matter of fact, you will be okay with it when you align with it. You're okay with it. Now you can move about at peace and it won't disturb you. Because y'all, I was a type of person, let me tell you, I have grown so much and I get so emotional about it and so happy about it because I realize how much I've grown. Y'all used to be where if I saw that a person wasn't seeing me through clarity, through source's eyes, it would bother me so much because I said, Source, you know who I am. You know how I am. You know I would never do that. You know I'm not that type of person. So I would go the extra mile of being extra, extra, extra nice, extra, extra, extra kind and going out my way like I'm walking on eggshells to be around certain people because I wanted them. And that was that tug of war. One of them, I wanted to pull them over to the side of source to connect, to say, hey, listen, you're missing out on the beauty of me because you're looking through dirty lenses and it's through your lenses because you haven't plugged in. And I used to get so a little aggravated because I'm like, source, why, why are they treating me this way? And then when source was able to open my eyes and say, girl, drop that rope. Stop playing this game with them. They're not aligned and connected. They're not going to ever be able to give you what you are expecting out of them until they become aligned and connected. And once Source gave me that knowledge, y'all, I've been skippity doo da, skippity da doo doo da. <laughs> it's been like that in my world, okay? I've been having a great time in my life. Why? Because they don't have control of anything that I do. And that's another thing. When you're striving so hard to get somebody to see you through the clarity of, of the eyes of source, then you're saying that you really can't move until they can recognize. No, that's giving them control. That's 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 a person having control over you. But if you if you bother about how they're seeing you and if they ain't seeing you through the source's eyes and you bother about it, that's a bother by that, that's a little control that they have over you, just a little bit. And you know, no, who's in control? God is in control. It's the song we say. God is in control. He's in control. God is in control. He's in the forefront of your life, right? He's in the forefront of your life. So nobody has control of you. God is in control, which means don't expect, expect anything from anybody who is not aligned and connected. Why? Because they can't give you nothing. They can't give you what you're requesting of them. They, they just can't. So go about your day. I don't care what day you've been having. I don't care what your coworker. Maybe this is helping somebody today. Maybe it's helping you right now. May, maybe this was your aha moment to know what was that tension between you and so and so. Or you and your coworker. Or you and a family member. Or you and a friend. Now you may have it. Maybe you're the one connected and they're not. Or maybe they're the one who's connected and you're not. Because trust me, I've been where I wasn't aligned and connected at a certain point in my life. And I think I probably was the one on the other end and I wasn't seeing clarity. But when I came, <laughs> when I came in alignment and connected with Source, everything just leveled out for me, unfolded for me. And now I know, like I'm telling you, I'm almost at 15 minutes. Now I know, like I'm telling you, take the expectations off of others. And those others are those who are not aligned, connected. 
aligned and connected. I hope you guys got the gist of it. I hope I didn't run my mouth too long, but if I did, I warned y'all up front, but I hope this really blessed you guys the way it blessed me over and over again of me just talking about it. Uh -huh. I got the aha moment from source to source saying, girl, drop that rope. Stop playing this game of tug of war with somebody because they can't give you what they don't have. And if they're not aligned and connected, they can't give you love. They can't give you peace. They can't even give you an apology. They can't because they're not aligned and connected, right? That's, that's just how it works, you guys. So those of you who do have friends and family members and coworkers who are aligned and connected, you just focus on those expectations because you know you're going to get those. You know you're going to get love in return and peace in return and happiness in return and, and cheering in return and, and just all good, good in return. You know that, why? Because they're plugged into that so they can give what they have. You get what I'm saying? So... Like I said, I hope you got the gist of it. If you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a what? A smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Like I said, I hope you got the gist of it. Take those expectations off of others. Who are the others? Those who are not aligned and connected. Still show them love. But don't expect anything in return, okay? Talk to y'all soon. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Best. Best, yes. <laughs> Be blessed. Stay blessed. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I never say that. But y'all know the deal. All right, talk to y'all soon. Ciao.